So very early you wanted to become an artist? No, actually I wanted to be a businessman. And so, but first you were dreaming of becoming a businessman. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I mean, why businessman? Uh, businessman because of money, right? The business I was doing, it was based on politics. And during that time when I was in Iraq, if if anybody goes in the UN and said something, the market in Iraq goes up and down. So it was it was a situation that there is. I studied economy myself. I did a bachelor degree before art and industrial management. And so I know the classical interpretation to economy, but what was happening there, it was based on nothing. I wanted to do something that I will be the only one who can control. Plus, I was a bad business. Until now, I'm a really bad business. My whole mind flipped in like 360 degrees. There is much more pleasure in reaching a concept and, and visualizing an idea and sharing it with people. And then I, I studied paintings and I graduated in 2000, end of 2000. I left to Finland and in Finland from 2003 to 2005 I did master degree in media art. But why Finland? My ex-wife was half Finnish. I didn't like really open the map of the world and pick Finland. <laughs> And today you are finished? Yeah, I'm finished and Iraq. You go sometimes to Iraq? No, I went last time 2004. When I was entering Baghdad, there was an American checkpoint. An American soldier asked me, like, what blah blah blah, like, I am in Iraq, and going there. He said, welcome to Baghdad. Because of this guy, what he told me, and then when I went into my city where I grew up in, I felt I needed a job. So I did this travel agency which uh, promotes trips to Baghdad and vacations. But you are sarcastic a bit in your work, no? Yeah. It's important? I, yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's my personality. You discover another kind of art, no? Until I started the school in Finland, I was a painter. So I stopped a year and I don't know, like, like waking up and like really confused. Then I start drawing actually monitors and things happening in monitors and putting subtitles and I have like tons of them in my studio. In the school I had my uh, two like uh, a supervisor so she was telling me why don't you do video instead of drawing the video. <laughs> video which is a moving image involving the viewer physically or mentally with the piece and not just two dimensional. And, uh, so since 2005 actually my first video was 2005 until now I do that. But I still draw, I still paint, I still like sculpture, like, I, but I show this really unless they serve a concept I want to do. It's not just because I want to show them. Yeah. So you, are you part of the mass production? I know. You are finished? I, I, don't, uh, you know, I don't consider myself Finnish or Iraqi or Egyptian or anything. I'm, I'm an artist living in this world, getting influenced and getting it affected by anything happens in any place but I at the same time I believe any universal idea or any you know, like international presentation it has to be based on a local theme why because we cannot jump into the international without going through locality I mean it's a step so you have to go through that basically we are all uh, I think a box of memories and uh, if you have memory that stuck in your subconscious that it has to go out at some point in, in a certain way whether in a book, whether in an art piece, whether in an attitude, in a word, you have to say it, you have to, it depends on what your tools are. If it's serving a concept that you feel that it has to be said. I have cool memories, you know. <laughs> I think that I'm so far, but I have really bad ones that I don't use. <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> That's a memory, really. Anyway, video is not a good business. I don't you know. I really never work for money. And I, I hope that I will never work for money. But always I care that I won't compromise my, my work. Like, I, I don't copy my... Like, when I do a show, I like to have a complete show which has a good theme in it. Not like a bazaar. Just for, to show us, you know, to... You know, like, because that's what stick, stay with my name, it's not like what, no. how much money will continue. There is a beautiful saying in Finland, they say at the end, 
or at the each end, the, the thanks itself will stand up and say thank you. So I believe in that. I think if you really work hard on something and you believe in it and you put all your love in it and all your emotions, it will happen. Today, tomorrow, when I die, I don't know, it will happen at the end of the day because otherwise there will be no tomorrow. Life won't be fair. I wish that I would have a, like a desk job that I go at 9, leave at 5 and enjoy my life. Uh, you have you have some blends sometimes? Yeah, of course. I'm, uh, I'm not a machine. The last one I had, I, I had to go to Nepal to do tripping on a mountain and um, to get inspiration. I just lost it. I, 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 I'm gone. You know? so if it's cheap to go to the moon, I would go to the moon, but it's so expensive. For me. <laughs> I present an argument of something I'm arguing myself, but I never give the solution. Because I maybe I don't know the solution myself. And maybe I don't want to put the viewer in a didactive end that this is it. That's what the art, artists want to say. I, I like what I do so much myself and I think it's really important myself. But of course I cannot force the viewer to think like me about what I do in my Could you tell us about ping pong? I hear in Abu Dhabi. Quickly. Like always I was wondering like when two superpowers they fight or they compete. Of course there should be some mistakes by each side. Make a game, which is a game that has to end up with somebody has to win. Uh, I replaced the net with a, a woman, uh, which any mistake that she gets, that like they do, she gets the bruises on her body, and basically she was the net. Sometimes I have no clue. Like I, wo I was in Cairo, I, I, I ordered the bread, and they brought me bread. I couldn't eat it. I, I did this, it sounds like a drum. I did a piece. Yeah, really well. these are two guys. Yeah, and they tried to write a statement. Until now, I really don't have a good statement for the piece. <laughs> but what is the highest thing being an artist? Being able, I think the main thing, being able to, to execute any idea I have. And that means I will be having the capability of doing that technically and uh, financially and uh, showing it in a nice space which fits with it mainly, if I would say that. Okay. Yeah. Merci Adèle. Bon,